Hello and welcome to Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you. Quantitative easing. Quantitative easing is the use of something besides government bonds in order to help expand the monetary supply. Uh, recently, Breitbart wrote a little article about China dumping treasury bonds and said, oh my goodness, there's going to be more quantitative easing. Why don't they explain why bond dumping has anything to do with the money supply to begin with? Bonds replaced gold because gold-backed fractional reserve banking kept cratering. Now, instead of cratering, we just get constant QE, quantitative easing. Put simply, no. Taking deposits and lending said deposits while promising you will allow them to be withdrawn on demand does not work. Fractional reserve banking is the West's favorite little Ponzi scheme. The depositor deposits $10. The bank swears up and down that you may withdraw your $10 at any time. The bank then lends nine of your $10. The depositor comes back and withdraws $10. Where does the other $9 come from? It comes from other depositors. If the bank isn't making enough money, eventually even that reserve is insufficient. Eventually the money comes from you if your government underwrites the bank or the Fed can shovel bonds into reserve to expand the reserve artificially. This is generational idiocy. No, IOUs are not money. Debt is not money. Though IOUs and debt spend like money, they only spend like money until the IOU or debt market collapses. But the glut of IOUs just causes constant inflation and it does not help the economy does not increase liquidity, does no good for anybody except bankers and investors who are in on it with them. Specifically, it does you no good if you're stupid enough to keep bailing out the bankers and investors and not prosecuting them when they break the law. P.S. Enron was prosecuted under Bush, whom the libertarians detest. Show me the prosecution of Obama's cronies in the banks. Show me one single libertarian who gives a flying fig. Libertarians do not care how far down the economy goes as long as their filthy taxes stay low. They are happy to tell you, as a poor person, you deserve your poverty because you're stupid. Well, libertarians, I'm done listening to your stupidity. Thank you and goodbye. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.